I have to talk about a rainy day scenario of troubleshooting at scale, there are really a lot of core tasks that engineers have to perform in order to be able to isolate root causes. The PCAP is essentially like a black box where you have to go through packet by packet, uh, try to correlate multiple protocols together to be able to deduce that one single frame or IE where potentially the issue is, or even identify the node that's causing the issue, right? So that's where a lot of those core tasks are automated by agility. The first one is providing a high level KPI summary from a PCAP, right? As I said, PCAP can be a gold mine in terms of harnessing different kinds of KPIs like subscriber information, the type of service that can be present in a PCAP, uh, the different kinds of call flows that are present, and also look at the pass fail distribution amongst each one of them. Right, So that's the first core task that Agility is automating. The second one is driven by the principles of machine learning to identify root errors or root causes. This is where the machine learning model maps patterns and classifies call flows as successful failures or even success with warnings uh, as well and provides a, a prediction classification with it. The third one is an interactive sequence diagram, right? We know that uh, there are a lot of triaging aids that can potentially also accelerate the troubleshooting journey. One of them is a sequence diagram, which is, you know, picture conveys a thousand words. So it's much easier to be able to map call flows and look at them dynamically uh, over a built topology which is if I look at message exchanges between network functions over a diagram, it is much easier to isolate issues and know what's happening in the network. Along with, of course, the dynamic construction of network topologies, uh, because as I said, network is moving towards cloud. A lot of these network functions are being virtualized and they keep changing. IPs can be reassigned, uh, you know, potentially within days and minutes as well. So that's where it's very important to map the IP to a network function at the time when the failure occurred uh, and not really in the moment when the root cause uh, is being conducted, right? So, and then the next thing is the protocol level analysis because a call flow or a service for 5G and 4G domains really have protocols intertwined uh, among them, right? Which means a 5G service can have NGAP, it can have HTTP2, PFCP, SIP protocols, diameter, a lot of these can be bundled together. And that's where engineers have to extensively correlate these protocols to be able to isolate root causes. So that's where Agility is automating a lot of these core tasks. But on top of this, once a root cause has been classified by the machine learning model, Agility also provides essentially one more triage aid called diagnostics. Now, diagnostics is essentially harnessing the power of large language models, which are knowledge-based integrations on any knowledge uh, database, you know, uh, which can integrate and provide extended visibility into root cause explanations, such as your reference documentations like 3GPP uh, or uh, any vendor-specific documentation, specialized sites, uh, or even historical tickets as well, right? So a lot of those information can be deduced by, uh, you know, the large language models.